Welcome to Linux and Welcome. In this session, you are going to see about how to set up your own Flickr website using PVGo. PVGo is a free and open source photo gallery software for the web. It is similar to Flickr, a well known photo sharing website that allows us to share photo to our family, friends, or to the public. If you are having a large collection of photos of your family or friends and if you want to share or store in your own server then Pigo can be used for that purpose. The pre-recommends for installing the Pigo is first you need to install the LAMP server on your CentOS. After that you need to install PHP. For that command is yum install php gd php mysql and press enter the php extension packages has been get installed in your system now i'm going to edit the php.ini file to set the time zone for that i need to open the file vim etc php.ini inside that file you need to set the date dot time zone in the date dot time zone you need to set your time zone after setting your time zone save the file now create a database for the pvgo server for that command is mysql hyphen u root hyphen p and enter the password inside the mysql create one database for the pvgo server create database pvgo db default character set equal to utf8 now press enter now the database has been get created now create a user for accessing the database pvgo for that command grant on on the name of the database pvgo db dot star to the name of the user user1 at localhost identified by the password for that user and press enter now the user has been get created and he is having access to pvgo db now flush the privileges for that command flush privileges now the privileges has been get flushed now exit for downloading the pvgo package for that command duplicate space the following link and press enter now the package has been started to download the package has been get downloaded i'm going to show you here you can able to see the downloaded package i'm going to extract that package for that command unzip on the name of the package and press enter now the package has been get unzipped here you can able to see the unzip to package pvgo now I'm going to move that pvgo directory to the web root directory for that command mv space pvgo space slash var www.html and press enter. Now the directory has been get moved. Now I'm going to set full permission to the following folders for that command chmod hyphen capital R triple seven slash var ability html pvgo underscore data and press enter and another one directory upload for that command chmod hyphen capital r triple seven slash var ww html pvgo upload and press enter now for keeping the watermark for your pvgo site for that you need to create a directory watermark inside the local directory for that command mkdir slash var www html pvgo local inside that you need to create watermark directory so watermark and press enter now the directory has been get created now give the full permission for the directory so chmod hyphen r triple seven slash where ww html pvgo local watermarks and press enter now the permission has been get set 
Now we can move to a web browser for doing the Perigo installation process. For that I need to switch over to my web browser. In the web browser type the IP address of your machine slash pvgo and press enter. Here you can able to see the installation of the pvgo. Choose your gallery language and here you have to mention the username of the database and the password and the name of the database and here you need to configure the administrator for that give the username for the administrator and the password for the administrator and here you have to type the email address and then click on start installation to start the installation process of the pvgo now it has successfully configured the pvgo and it is installed completely for visiting the gallery click visit the gallery for login into the pvgo here you need to type the username of the user or the admin and the password and then submit login now it has been get successfully logged in click on administrator here you can able to see the administrator home page for creating albums for creating albums click on albums and then click on manage and then click on new album and then give your name for the new album and then click on create for creating the album now the album has been get added for uploading the photos into the album click on photos and add and and here you have to choose the album name and then click here to add the photo or else you can drag and place it here i'm going to add by using add the photo here you have to choose where you want to fix the photos and then select the photos which you want to upload and then click open now all the photos has been get uploaded now click here to start the upload process now six photos has been get successfully updated for managing the permission click on tools and then select synchronization and here you can able to see who can see these photos by choosing this option you can choose the admin only or admin and family or admin family and everybody you can able to choose the option according to your wish now for creating a new user create on users and then click on manage here you can able to see already you can able to see the admin is linux help and there is another one guest login if you'd like to create one new user click on add a user and give the username for that user and the password for the user and the email id and then click submit here you can able to see the user one has been get added now i'm going to log in as a user one for that I need to log out from the admin. Here you can able to see the gallery page of the PVGO. Here you have to type the username of the new user and the password for the user. Here you can able to see I have been logged in as a user1. Here the new user can be able to see the uploaded pictures by the admin. Thank you for watching.